Hello VNR friends, it's Eric Windler coming to you from uh, the Windler Gym. You know, I had an idea, uh, and this takes me back to when I was a young tennis player. My tennis coach said, you know, you can improve your hand-eye coordination if you can learn how to juggle. So he showed me how he could juggle, and then I taught myself to juggle. You know, and what I thought is for all those young members out there and all those young at heart members out there, this would be a nice way to challenge yourself during this time of isolation. So I'm going to give you a few tips about how you too can learn how to juggle. Now, before we get started, uh, let's get our posture right. Okay, so when you're juggling, you want to have just a nice athletic stance and you keep your arms in at your elbows. Okay, nice like this. You don't want to be trying to juggle up here. You'll be hopeless at it. And let's get started just with one ball, okay? One ball, and we're gonna go throw that ball in the pattern that you saw me juggling earlier, just back and forth, back and forth. Try not to look at the ball specifically, look at the apex, and your hand will know where to go to catch that ball, okay? All right, now let's go to two balls. A little bit harder, but we're, we're not gonna throw them at the same time, we're just gonna throw them like that. See that? Start with your dominant hand. After a while, start with your other hand. Just do this for a while, all right? Now you're gonna drop the ball for a while and I've got a little bit of a tip. The best way to learn, you know, if you have like hacky sacks or softer balls, they're actually a little bit easier than tennis balls. I learned with tennis balls, so I'm showing all our, our tennis buddies uh, that that's the best ball there is out there next to a double squash ball. So uh, I think it's good to learn with a tennis ball. But you can actually kneel in front of a couch, and that's how I did. I learned in front of a couch, so when the ball drops, it sort of gets caught on the couch, and it's easier to pick up, and away you go. So back to two balls. Uh, one, two, one, two, and the other way. One, two, one, two. All right? Now we're going to move along to a little bit trickier, and this is actually, for some people, this will be harder than actually juggling, juggling itself. So you're going to take two balls in one hand and try this out, okay? Just rotate them around like that, okay? Um, now, we're gonna move on to three balls. So we're gonna start with two balls in your dominant hand, and you gotta get used to sort of rotating them in there, but that'll come naturally after a while, and we're just gonna have that same pattern. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch. One, two, three, catch, okay? Real simple, don't try to get too fancy. And if you can do like say 10 in a row of one, two, three, catch, one, two, three, catch, then you're gonna be in pretty good shape. And eventually, as you get better at this, and it'll take, you know, maybe for some days, or for some people it'll take uh, an hour or two to learn how to basically juggle. For other people, you know, they may never get it or it'll take quite a while. But for all our uh, young BNR members who are good at, at racket sports, which take a lot of hand-eye coordination, I think you'll learn pretty quick. So now let's move on to actual juggling, three ball uh, rotation, and just keep your eyes focused on the apex. You know, it's harder if you juggle way down here uh, or way, way up there. So just kind of do it at head height and you will be juggling. Okay, now a little bit later, you're gonna be able to do fancy stuff. And I remember when I learned how to juggle, uh, for some reason, I thought I'd teach myself how to bounce juggle. Now you'd think learning how to do this would be pretty hard, right? Well, once you know how to do that, learning how to bounce juggle from scratch is harder still than learning how to basically juggle. And how is that possible? So what does bounce juggling look like? It looks like this. Oh, ah, oh. Right? Now, the reason that's harder is because no matter where you throw it, it bounces a little bit different every time. Uh, whereas this toss, it's pretty reliable, right? Pretty reliable. So there you go. There's my challenge for you. If you're a parent listening to this, this would be a great way to take your young tennis or squash or badminton player uh, through some basic steps. And, you know, everybody out there, you know, including Eric Baldwin, I want to see a challenge. Challenge yourself to do something new and maybe uh, you'll spend a half hour a day uh, while we're all socially isolated here doing something fun. Send in those videos to Baldwin and he'll post some on the, on the BLC. Take care everybody, be safe, and stay at home.
Okay, so before we get started with three balls, let's uh, get our posture right. All right, so just nice athletic stance. Oh, geez, my zipper's undone.